Hey everybody. Oh, I got the sun behind me. You can't see me. Um, something real quick. I took green bean to the drag strip. Just so you know, I'm like getting in my hotel room for work. But um, I took green bean to the drag strip um, Saturday. And I had swapped over to the 513 gears. And as soon as I got off the trailer and uh, did my first run, the the infamous hesitation off the line uh came back swinging <laughs> uh i tell you what it was worse the the i don't know if you call it a stumble i guess it would be more of a stumble than a hesitation um i think the hesitation would be like a a, a, a timing thing or so i don't know I, I think the hesitation is a different thing than the stumble um this was more like it was it's getting too much fuel and i was wondering and i almost changed out my power valve from a 7.5 to a 6.5 uh to see if it helped um but the thing on the street is so snappy it, it, it's crazy and um i mean instant throttle response and um whether you're sitting still nail it going down the road nail it it just it it, it, it wasn't a throttle response situation um the timing i've played with that a little bit anywhere i think right now it's set at 36 um i went as high as 41 also on a nice cool day with good quality air i think I'll, I'll go back up there again but if it's uh hot or humid um i don't know maybe humid maybe you're supposed to put the timing up a little more when it's humid uh, it helps the firing or something of it maybe too uh I don't know you know i'm still learning so you know any information on that you know i appreciate that too oh uh, it's just trial and error for me you know i don't have a lot of experience with this but i'm enjoying what i'm doing and uh you know my, my brother my nephew uh my dad in the past uh in his younger years you know just messing with these automobiles is something that that you know that we do family-wise pretty much and um dad was used to that old dual point distributor and all that and it's like you know times have changed a little bit but um Anywho, um, so the stumble happened worse, and I was chasing it, man. I was trying to figure out what in the world was going on with it, and talking to a, a fellow racer, um, you know, it's nice when you go to a track, and you have these other racers that um, share information, you know, that uh, if you have a problem, you know, you can ask them, talk to them, and, you know, you can get some, some other ideas of what may be going on, and that's what I did, and... Um, so I changed a couple things. One of them was I lowered my float levels in the carburetor. Uh, I was, you know, this is a carburetor that has a sight glass built into it. Uh, not the one you unscrew and, and let it trickle out. This was, you know, a sight glass that's there. And I always thought keep the float level in the middle. Um, I told the guy that and he's like, hey, you know, drop it down to just like the others where it kind of trickles out. So get it down to the lower portion of the sight glass. So I did that. Uh, another one, you know, uh, another recommendation was to raise my fuel pressure up. Uh, I had had it in the like six and a half range. So now I've set it up to about seven and three quarter or so pounds. Uh, and I guess in a way it can make, yeah, make up for the lower float bowl. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I went out there for the next run and, um, I saw what my problem is, uh, all this time. I hadn't seen it, but I saw it Saturday, and I think it's the 513 gears in the, the rear end that helped me see it. And um, so the weekend was kind of a bust as far as performance, but uh, it was a win for being able to identify what I believe the problem is. And I'm going to, when I do what I do to correct it, I'm going to do a video on it, but what um, what I come up with is when i come off the line i looked i mean I, I saw i didn't have to look i saw when it happened but fuel come out that vent tube at the top of the the primary side I, i'm assuming um came up so violently out that tube it hit the scoop and it came back and dripped down off the scoop where the the scoop has like a lip that kind of hangs down on the back side for the strength um it came up hit that and dripped down 
and I was like, wow, that's a lot of fuel coming up here. But uh, so I, then I put a piece of um, hose on it, uh, went from vent to vent, from primary to secondary, and, and put a hole in the top of the tube, and it still came out of that. So I have the baffle for the vent on the primary side. I have the, the, the baffle extension or whatever you want to call it that goes inside the float bowl. It, it makes the, it brings the opening forward. Um, so that way when the gas comes back, it's not able to go into that, that area to go up the tube. Um, I have that and I will, uh, install that this week. If I go home early enough during the day or night or whatever. And, uh, or I mean, it ain't nothing to take the, the thing apart and, and, and install it. It's just drilling a little hole. I got to find out what size drill bit that is for that particular thing. But, um, but that's, I think that's what my whole stumble deal is. So, um, I'm going to do a video on doing that, on, on putting that baffle in. Uh, that'll be my next thing. And then it, once we go back to the track, I can look at the dates of what, you know, when the track is available and, and whatnot. And then, um, we'll go to the track again and, and see what it do. So, uh, I'm still eager to see if the 450, no, yeah, if, if there's a difference in the 456 versus the 513s. Um, I'm not crazy about the 513s as far as streetability. But at the track, I'm curious to see what it does. So, anywho, um, just want to give y'all a little update on what it is. And uh, sorry, I don't have green bean with me right now. I'm at work, but I don't have green bean with, with me at the moment to you know include that in the uh, or him, I should say, in in the video. Excuse me. And um, anyway, don't want to take up your time. Anyway, y'all have a good good rest of the day, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Later.